Hello everyone, today I'm going to analyze real data using Xtech. So I'm going to collect the data from this website. I'm going to go to the catalog.data.gov URL and this website has lots of data set. I'm going to use one of data set in this website. I'm going to search population by country and hit enter. Then you will get the result population by country 1980 to 2010. And just click on the CSV, then you should get the CSV file from here. So now we collected data. Let me check here. Yes, we have. I'm going to open this one. And as you can see here, we have the data. Okay, we have data 1982-2010. So as you can see, we have the countries and the, we have the years from 1982-2010. As you can see, we have the NA or dash dash. I'm not going to use this for this tutorial wise, so I'm going to refine those things. And I already saved this CSV file in my GitHub, so you can just easily get this um, I'll refine the data from my GitHub as well. Okay, let me go to next page. So now I'm going to see if the Elasticsearch and Kibana is working. PS minus EF, grab Kibana. As you can see, the Kibana is working. And grab Elasticsearch. As you can see, Elasticsearch is running. So now I'm going to do config my log stash here. And here, first we have input. And we are going to get the input from file. Pass should be absolute, absolute pass. So I'm going to give the absolute pass to the CSV file. And start position beginning. By default, Start position is end because logstash expect to get the streaming data and uh, it should be end. But we are going to use the CSV file and uh, we want to start from the beginning of the file. And next one is since db underscore path day aeb slash null. We put this one because tutorial wise we want to put this information every time we want. So I'm going to give this one. If you don't have this one, then the, the first try will work, but second try, uh, this CSV information will not go to the Elasticsearch. So you will, you will need this since db underscore path in this file input. And filter, we are going to filter from the CSV file. And separator is going to be comma in the CSV file. And the column is going to be country 1980 to 2010. And also, we are going to transform the 1980 to float, 1981 to float, because we want number from this text formatted in the CSV file. And uh, here we have output. In the output, we are going to output to Elasticsearch. And the host is a local host because I have the Kibana, Logstash, Elasticsearch in the same URL, in the same uh, server. And the index, I'm going to use population as index. And uh, in the Kibana, I'm going to use this same index name to visualize this data. And standard out is going to show the log from this output. Okay, now I'm going to run this log stash minus F and give this configuration file. Now it's working. As you can see, we are getting the data from the CSV file and this log stash is going to filter this uh, 1980 to 2010 information as a number going to output to the Elasticsearch. 
Okay, let's let's take a look at the Kibana. Now the Elasticsearch should have the index named the population. So I'm going to go to Kibana localhost 5601. Here we need to select management. Click the index pattern and I'm going to add a new index name as population. You remember I gave the index name population in the log stash configuration file. Now we have the population in Kibana and as you can see we have the data from 1980 to 2010 which is correct. So let's go to discover. We don't have data at the first time because it has a log stash. We are going to change it to population. And now you can see the data. We have a bunch of data here. Let me click on one document here. And the one document has the population from 1980 to 2010. And I toggled world, toggled country. So we have the, the country and the population in 2010 and 1980. So because we toggled the country 1980, 2010, uh, instead of showing a bunch of information, we are showing the country and 1980 and 2010. Uh, I searched the Korea, so now we just have the South Korea and North Korea information from this discover. As you can see, the uh, population here, uh, 1980, uh, the South Korea has 38 million people. In 2010, the South Korea has the 48 million people increased. So we analyzed how many population uh, was in the 1980 and how many population increased in the 2010 here. Also, we can filter using United States here. United and we got three results and you can see the United States uh, population also increased from 200 million to 300 million here. That's all about the discover menu. So I'm going to show you now the visualize here. I'm going to visualize the population here using vertical chart. In the vertical bar chart, I'm going to select population. And instead of count, I'm going to use sum here. I'm going to see 1980 population. And we need to aggregate here, term aggregation using click on the field using each country. So I'm going to uh, group by country and going to show the population. Since the size is 10, we can see 10 results here. So world population is like this. And uh, China is the number one country that has most population in the world. Next one is India in 1980. And Europe is third one and Africa is first one. And I'm going to compare this result to 2010. So I'm going to change the field to 2010. And now the population is changed. As you can see, the China population is still number one, but now the Africa population is more than European. So something has been changed compared to uh, 1980. 2010 Africa population is more than the European. So we need to analyze the population data using Kibana now. I save this chart. I'm going to use the pie chart now. 
I'm going to use population index. And instead of the count, I'm going to use some here again. On 1980, I'm going to aggregate using terms here, using country. And uh, since size is 5, you can see the 5 result here. World and Asia, Oceania, and the country. And the most population is from China, and the second one is India. And if you change the size as 10, then you can see 10 results in the pie chart. And this is 2010 result. That's pretty much it. And you can practice yourself using my source code from my GitHub here. So please download and practice yourself and ask me any question if you have any. And I'm going to have the next video using stocks. They will be more interesting than this one. So see you on the next video. Thank you.